the Internet of Things isn't just about switching on the lights when you're out of the house. The Internet of Things is also all about the car. And this is Samsung's Connect Auto. And it's a very small dongle that fits inside the OBD2 socket inside your car. So that's pretty much any vehicle made from 96 onwards that'll have one of these slots inside that's usually used for um, diagnosing problems with the car by mechanics. So what you do is you slot this in and it offers not only connectivity for your car, so it's a 4G LTE hotspot, but it connects up with an app on your smartphone. We're looking at this on the new Galaxy S7 and what it does is provide a wide variety of details about your car onto your phone. We'll come back to the cool details in a second, but what we really like is that it becomes an alarm system. It will tell you if your car moves unexpectedly, sets up a geofence, so if it moves out of a certain area, you'll get an alert telling you your car has been stolen. And if someone tries to unplug the Connect Auto, you'll get an alert. Now that in itself is pretty cool. But then you get lots and lots of quantifiable data, almost like a Fitbit for your car, telling you about every little aspect. For example, this is your driving score and anybody with a lead foot is not going to enjoy this because it's gonna tell you how hard you accelerate, how hard you're braking, cornering, and your use of speed, and will suddenly give you an overall score of your driving, uh, I guess, economy when you're on a run. The same thing can be had for journeys. So it measures accurately how far you've been, how far your journey, uh, how long your journey took, and also the, the cost of the fuel that you used during that time. You get that in a separate readout. You also get de details for your mechanic. And what this does is alert you of when things are wrong with your car so you can go to somebody to get it fixed. In the future, Samsung are gonna put a few details on here about where the local service centers are, so you'll be able to go straight there without having to look them up. This is where the connected hotspot is applied, so that works for up to 10 devices inside your car. So, unless you've got a really huge car, everybody inside is gonna be able to get Wi-Fi connectivity. What Samsung's also going to do with this is set up different schemes with insurance companies so they'll be able to tap into the details that you provide with the dongle and hopefully if you're a good driver you're going to get discounts on your insurance. Now this is going to be coming to the US before the summer and it's going to be offered by AT&T so you're going to be able to pop into your local store and pick one of these up. Obviously it's going to come with a contract and you're going to have to pay for the dongle itself. Samsung's not saying how much it costs yet but says that magic word, reasonable. So we'll have to wait and see. That's coming at the end of the summer and you can read more about it on Digital Trends right now.